Yeah, I don't know how to use Blender. When I was 16, I tried out Blender for about 10 minutes and rage quit because I couldn't figure out what I was doing, and in giving away my skills for free today. Now, it may seem like I'm trying to scam people into thinking I'm going to make them a really good render, but don't worry, I don't think anyone has ever taken me seriously with anything I've ever said. Make old movie Sonic. And the unfortunate truth of the matter is it's probably this one. And if it's not, sorry, Mark. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my apology for a few seconds because once this is done, I'm, uh, I'm gonna apologize about five more times, most likely. We're gonna try really real hard here for a second. All right, we're gonna start out with the general head shape, and we'll work on the quills and spikes and ears and stuff. We'll just pull those from the clay. Oh, this is movie Sonic, Peter. Shut up. It does have like a little bit of a pointy chin. Pretty big forehead for the the quills to protrude from the back of. All right, that's not bad for the general shape. Eyes are too close together. That would make it look okay. Yeah, we go, something like that. Looks a little pixely right now. I don't know if I could have avoided that somehow. It's also movie Sonic, so I'm really not that picky. I'm bringing terror and evil into the world. I don't see why anyone would want this to look good. Awesome, all right, now we gotta go to the back of the head and do the spikes. Elastic deform looks like it could work. We're gonna turn the strength way up. Turn the radius way up, and just... Okay, yeah. <laughs> nah. Try some pinch and pull. Yeah, I think that's the better way to do it. I just don't like that I'm working at this as this thing is staring really nowhere. It goes way in there. Just create, create a little butt crack on the back of his head, you know? I gotta give him more of that chin. There it is. Now it's starting to capture the, the, the magic. Sorry, the dark magic that is this. I'm going to try some... <laughs> uh, no. Grab it and stretch it out in every which direction. Uh huh. Stretch it out into a full fledged bust. Upper body, arms, and all that. There we go. See? Kinda does look like it. He needs a little more chin definition again. Very important for Sonic Movie Sonic. You gotta get that chin definition. Alright. I'm gonna say good enough. Reasoning being. Demons. Get to that texture paint. I figured I was doing it upside down. They did invent this color for the Sonic movie. There's little white dots popping up all over the place uh, because I don't actually know how to 3D model. So somehow some of these pixels are also these pixels, and I know it's some kind of mathematical equation. I'm not going to try to figure out what it is. He's looking up a little bit, just a little bit cross-eyed, a little bit forward. That's my best attempt at that. Good grief, would this ever look creepy if it didn't have eye shines? Am I right, guys? That's all Paramount did when they redesigned the Sonic, is they just gave him eye shines. It's just way better. Right off the bat, we'll get the nose a regular color before I die. You can see little black spots popping up over here. Sonic's nose is his eyes, as is canon in the Sonic movie. One thing I noticed, too, is he actually does have a little bit of eye shadow going on here. Eh, you know. That does kind of make it look like Sonic is wearing makeup, and I don't like that concept very much. Nothing against makeup and or Sonic's wearing makeup, but it just looks bad. And I don't think that should be something argued about. I don't think that should be an unpopular opinion. And now it just looks like li lipstick. This is just Sonic wearing makeup. Uh, we're gonna change that a little. Oh, we're gonna change that because generally old movie Sonic is kind of known for having them teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just it just screams meow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why does this look better than this? Someone explain that to me. And that's it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know which one looks better, to be honest. Two very different creatures. I would be sorry if I could still feel anything after making this. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad as the original. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I were blind. There's lots of good requests on here, but I think this is probably a good option. Now, of course, we start out with a ball, but those of us in the blender industry don't call this a ball. This is called a sphere, because I sphere what it may become. I really do need to be canceled. Bally things on the side there. Kinda hard to tell where the legs start and end, so I'm just gonna wing it and see how that goes. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, it does look like the image. Okay, this is actually not too bad. I thought I was gonna get on here and make terrible abominations. And, okay, this actually looks a little creepy now. Boom. Look at that. 
That's not ugly. That's something came from my hands that isn't ugly. There's some more darker uh, things above the head and the butt cheeks. Yeah, this is accurate. Frog, 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 frog. In similar fashion, Dave is hitting me with a not terrible looking Sonic. Now, my opinions on baby Sonic are somewhat controversial. I will keep them to myself. But at least out of respect, I'm not gonna attempt this because it's gonna end up looking something like this. This looks like something maybe I could accidentally make, but not purposely. Oh my gosh. Big Mouth Kirby, my old friend. Scale it, make it a little bit wider, just because that's how Kirby be in this image. He's a bit of a wide boy. Blobs that stick out like so. Ugh, don't like. Don't like. Too lumpy. I'm gonna call good enough good for now, and what we're gonna do for this one, a little something special, we're gonna actually make an interior. I'm not just gonna color it so it looks like there's a hole. We're going to put a hole in this Kirby! In a not-so-angry way. Oh, yeah. Yup. This is gonna turn out fantastic. That's a deep cavity right there. Oh, he does have a tongue. Okay, we're gonna try to do that. Awesome. Very realistic looking. This is weird because it's like, you can kind of see where his mouth stops and the inside of the mouth begins. Like where his skin turns to mouth skin. And that's not supposed to be a thing with Kirby. Also got a little more, uh, we'll call that fragmenting. We in the we in the blender business. There's a lot of fragmenting. The amount of ting that is fragment based is high right now. If only we would have turned down the hue opacity. But we're beyond that. Alright, we're going we're going in the mouth, boys. Never have I felt so much like a dentist. Blender should really advertise that on their website. Now you can feel like a dentist. You could call this more fragmenting. Let's just say he was eating some chocolate. Red chocolate, yeah, makes sense, Peter. I don't think his eyes have any texture to them, and I think if I did put texture to them, it would look absolutely horrifying. Yeah, there's no avoiding that, Peter. Ugh, this, these, these look like teeth. This looks like a shark. Once we get the eye shines, once we get the cheeks, the blush going, It'll be fine. There we go. All right, we brought it back a little bit. I mean, it doesn't look nearly as adorable as this, but it is fine. Here, here, here's what we, here's what we're missing. I, I figured it out. Let's do one of these, one of these. A little happier, and ah, oh, there it is. See now he's uh, he's all cute. Not really, but I mean, you... and of course, if any of you guys want the the color. <laughs> <coughs> the moment's gone, the joke is gone. This looks bad, that's all I was gonna say. And now we deliver the, the Christmas presents to the excited children on February 3rd. As you do. Curb. Yes. Hmm. It's poodle time. Or whatever dog that is, I don't know. If it's not my dog Ray, I don't know what kind of dog it is. For reference, we're just gonna put this little here. Uh, I hate how it does double like that. That don't look right. But, oh, yeah. I just want to make little doggy paws, okay? Uh... <laughs> this time, no legs. We're just gonna focus on the dog's face. It's nice and cute, and put most of the focus on the on the coloring. We're just gonna try to capture the essence of the image. And as it moves down, it does lighten a little bit. It's a little darker under the mouth. All the way dark for the nostrils. This is not too bad yet. You were being yet, it's just a little bit of brown around the eyes here. That's a pretty good size as well. A little bit here, and that gives it just a tad more realism. Granted, this is Blender, so these should be protruding objects with a really reflective surface, and that should give it that effect, but I don't know how to do that, despite how smart that sounded. I actually do know a few things about life in general. Now, okay, without going uh, into doing fur textures, that's about the most we can do. But this in itself, this dog face protruding from an egg, good enough for me. And we're definitely not going by what's good enough for other people in this case, even though we're doing a request. It's a very selfish video. Yeah, the face looks fine. I'm happy with the face. I made something that doesn't look ugly. I'm sorry, is this carbuncle with a gun? First, I'm gonna make this thing. It's probably gonna look pretty average, and then I'm gonna have to make a gun. And it's gonna look really bad. But I accept the challenge. After completing this dog, I feel like my confidence is up a, just, just a tad. Well, and then thinking about how I couldn't do the paws, it goes back down to about even. Nice. At least that's... and it's the right size, to some extent. Yeah, this is very doable. This is very doable. I have high hopes for this. I just need to not mess it up at this point. A little bit of height. See how that... Yep. Perfect. Protruding hot dog. 
It's actually a little bit creepy and kind of looks like a rabbit. Okay, that's that's about what I wanted. Before we get to the main attraction, the boomstick, which really fits the character, we're going to hit up that texture paint just to see if we can get it looking. Do, ignore the fact that it looks like a lumpy uh, prune from other sides. Oh, everything is broken and frozen. What did I do? I oh, don't do this to me. Oh, Carbuncle, no. Oh, it's gone. Autosave? Hey, that'd be cool. Recover. Oh. 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 Ah. <laughs> I thought I lost you. I thought you would never be the gunny shooty thing. Look how upset he is. He's like... Quay. I don't know what, what sounds he makes. Goo goo! Alright, yeah. This looks a little bit... A little bit more like the character. Okay, now the gun. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try to add another image. Something like that. I, now listen, I messed around for a long time and tried to figure out how to edit the second object, and I couldn't figure it out, so I just left it looking like this. And of course, a few people in the replies to the tweet said it looked a little bit interesting, to put it monetizably. But it's either that or no gun, so just be happy with it. At least I knew the character was Carbuncle. Not many people would know that. Can't you just be happy? All right, guess we're just gonna call this one good. I can't figure out how to take good pictures of things without the line still being there, and I apologize greatly for that. I know there's gonna be some people in the comments going, <laughs> The gun is made of marshmallow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do it. Oh, all right, let's, uh... They sort of work their way down in a bulging fashion. So I don't know what we're going to do for the forearms, because I can't do much more on this, but uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. Right now, we just need them to look muscular, widen out these pecs so they look less like female pecs. So this looks like it could be a head. It just kind of looks like... Terrible. These are the eyes. Very low poly eyes. That almost looks like Garfield. What the heck? I mean, super low poly. Again, I'm just tearing from this endless ball of clay. You gotta make sure that there's a lot of polys in, in the chest area. So the head is a, it's a fair sacrifice. It is a somewhat well-known fact that when your body is toned in this manner, when it's so loaded with protein sacs all around your bones, then it all, your skin normally turns orange. And so... so. Oh, this looks great. What do we do about these forearms, you might ask? Very important part of Garfield that kind of looks like a mixture of Conker and Sandy. Go to object mode and we're just gonna add forearms. Forearms are an object. Capsule is Latin for forearms. Oh, they're not the right color. Ooh. Ooh. Garf. He's wearing forearm gloves. Now nobody will know that I am simply not that very good at Blender. You know, we've made some pretty good creations today. And this. And I'd say we've come a long way since, uh, Mario with no pupils and scribbles all over his face. My Twitter media is a little messed up now. As always, my apologies if I didn't get to one that you put up. I've been recording for just under three hours and managed to do six of them. Considering there were 840 replies, it would have taken me 378 hours to do all of them. I'm gonna be a little bit lazy at this video and stop at six. And that's it, that's another program that I have learned. Tune in next time when we learn how to use... Calculator. Ah shoot, I just spoiled the whole video. <laughs>